On February the 6th, 2023, an earthquake struck southern Turkey and northwestern Syria with its epicenter in the Pazarjik district of Kahraman Marash province. It occurred 21 miles at 4.17 a.m. with a magnitude of at least 7.8. Nine hours later, the initial earthquake was followed by a magnitude 7.5 earthquake centered 95 kilometers in Karaman Marash province. Precisely 14 days after this earthquake, which occurred as the second largest earthquake, not an aftershock, another 6.3 magnitude quake occurred in Hatay, causing increased losses. As of February 23, 2023, the number of people lost in Turkey and Syria exceeds 50,000. The earthquake affected the neighboring provinces of Kahraman Marash, Adiaman, Gaziantep, Hatay, Kilis, Malatya, Osmania, Shanlurfa, Diyarbakir, and Adana, where around 13.5 million people live. Many earthquakes have shaken Anatolia, which is located in a very active earthquake zone, where the North Anatolian fault line, the East Anatolian fault line meet. Some of the region's most devastating earthquakes include the 7.8 magnitude Erzincan earthquake in 1939, Erba Niksar with a magnitude of 7 in 1942, Adapazara with a magnitude of 6.6 .6 in 1943, Karlova with a magnitude of 6.7 in 1949, and a 6.9 magnitude earthquake in 1951. Chankara with a magnitude of 7.1, Bolu with a magnitude of 7.1 in 1957, Mush with a magnitude of 6.8 in 1966, Mudurno with a magnitude of 7.2 in 1967, Erzincan with a magnitude of 6.7 again in 1992, and Izmit with a magnitude of 7.6 in 1999 which caused a significant loss of life and property. In addition to these Turkish earthquakes, there have been many more around the world that were even more destructive. The most lethal seismic disaster on record is the nine magnitude earthquake that occurred in Indonesia in 2004, which caused 227,898 deaths. This is followed by the Haiti earthquake of 2010 with a magnitude of 7, which resulted in the loss of 160,000 lives, and the two earthquakes in Pakistan with a magnitude of 7.6 in 2005, and China with a magnitude of 7.9 in 2008, which both caused an average of 80,000 deaths. An 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake hit Chile in 2010 and caused a tsunami, but only 521 deaths, despite being one of the strongest earthquakes on record. But it is one of the most destructive earthquakes, losing the economy of Chile an estimated 15 to 30 billion dollars. Large earthquakes can cause more minor earthquakes, which has happened on the North Anatolian fault line in the past. An earthquake in Dizja on November 12, 1999, had been triggered by another quake in Gulchuk on August 17, four months earlier. Preliminary studies indicate the 7.8 magnitude earthquake on the 6th of February 2023 caused a rupture in the fault all the way from Kahraman Marash to Adiaman and then to Hatay. The East Anatolian Fault runs in a northeasterly direction, starting from the Marash Triple Junction at the northern end of the Dead Sea Transform and ending at the Karlova Triple Junction, where it meets the North Anatolian Fault. The initial earthquake emanated from a fault 11 miles below the surface, according to USGS. Seismologists said the first quake was one of the largest ever recorded in Turkey. After the 7.8 magnitude Pazarjik earthquake on February the 6th, another 7.5 magnitude earthquake occurred just nine hours later. The depth of this earthquake was 6.2 miles, according to USGS. 
The rupture from the first earthquake was 186 miles or so long, and the second one ruptured another 87 miles along a different fault. To put those distances in context, London to Paris is roughly 214 miles. If we were to compare this with a map of America, it would be the equivalent of a circle stretching from Albany to Philadelphia. Noting that the double earthquake may also trigger the northern Anatolian fault line in the west, experts say that cities on the north Anatolian fault line should stay alert. Turkish geophysics professor Övgün Ahmet Ercan said that two earthquakes with the power of 130 atomic bombs were registered on the seismographs in Denmark and Greenland, according to Danish seismologist Tina Larsen's statement to AFP. The earthquake caused the Anatolian plate to slide three meters towards the Arabian Peninsula. Of course, it's possible to minimize the damage caused by such disasters. The construction of buildings with rail systems is one of the most important solutions. Building new constructions on rails allows them to move independently of the Earth's crust during an earthquake. Horizontal structural elements, or diaphragms, also contribute to earthquake resistance by transmitting horizontal loads to vertical strength elements. The earthquake, which occurred along the eastern Anatolian fault line, was caused by a long-term accumulation of energy, which is why it was so destructive. Experts who say that the danger still exists on the fault state that Adana and Kubras is still a location that needs attention. While this earthquake is a disaster that cannot be erased from the memories as a frightening experience for the Marmara earthquake, which Turkey is waiting for with fear.